Hello friends, welcome to Firebase Android tutorial series. This is the part 3 of the video tutorial series. And today we'll learn about Firebase database. We have already done with Firebase authentication and this is the app we created in the last tutorial. Today we'll see how we can store data to Firebase database in JSON tree format. So come inside the same project in which we are working and open activity profile. Now after login in, we'll give user an option to save some more data. So we have created two edit text and a button. User will enter their full name and address to these edit text and then click on the button to save the information in Firebase database. Now, so as we are dealing with Firebase database, we need to add Firebase database dependency inside our app level build.gradle file so i'm writing database here and then we need to sync the project once the sync is done come inside profile activity.java here we will define the database reference object private database reference With this reference, we can store data to Firebase database. To store data, we need data, and to get the data, we have to edit text. And a button. Now, initialize these views. First, we'll get the firebase database reference so database reference equals to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference then edit text and name and button as well confirm the ID of the button so this is our button and changing the ID to button save this looks cool button save so we will also attach the listener on click listener to button save Now create a method to store data in Firebase database. Private void save user information. But before we code this method, we need a Java object. We'll create a new Java class user information. Name doesn't matter. We just need a normal Java class. Now, whatever data you want to save in Firebase, declare, define variables for that data. As in this scenario, we have name and address. So we define public string name, public string address. Just remember the access modifier for these variables should always be public. This is very important. And we also need a default constructor and to initialize these variables one more constructor we can generate constructor select both variables and we have the class ready this class will, will help us to store data in firebase database now again come inside profile activity first we'll get the values from edit text so string name equals to edit text name dot get text dot to string dot trip same for address get text dot to string dot train now we'll define an ob object for the class we created user information new user information and we'll pass name and address 
now to store the user information in firebase database we can use the unique id of the logged in user so we can get the logged in user with the auth object firebase user user equals to firebase or dot get current user every user has a unique id and we can create a node inside firebase database with that unique id and inside that node will store the information of that particular user so with the help of database reference we'll create a new child with the unique id of the logged in user and with the method set value we can store the data in firebase database this set value method will take a normal java object and will map all the variables with the value to firebase database now we can display a toast information saved that's it now just we need to call this method when the button is tapped so here we'll write u equal to equal to button save and we'll call save user information now let's try running our app So let's enter some information. I'm putting my name and my address. Save information. We got the information save message. Let's check Firebase database. And yes, we have the data inside Firebase database. Now let's try saving again. Let's change it to my father's name, Ajar Khan. And save information we have the information saved inside this unique id of this logged in user we can add more values if we want so this is how we write to firebase database so i'm wrapping up this video here and yes please do like subscribe and share this video obviously if you found it useful and i'll see you in next video and in next video we'll see how we can retrieve the stored data thank you